Hi, it's Jess here from Nigessa Creates. Thank you for joining me. Now, you may remember me making these um, stamped paper bags. Um, I'm not sure if it was the last video that you would have seen, but it is the last one I filmed because I've literally just finished filming it. And I made a few tags to go in. It's the idea is it's going to go into a page of a journal, gets sewn in to the signatures and a nice little place to put you could put anything you want in it but i decided to make some some tags that fit in then we'd open up and that one would go in there simple little tags as you can see i've been shopping in primark so um i have made the tag bases and i'm gonna show you how I made them so I've got I did a little bit of a bus make so these are backed the other ones were done on coffee dyed paper but these are backed onto a Primark carrier bag I get loads of brown paper bags um, and um, they are I like I like them um, as backs of tags because it's plain and you can um, write on it. So I have got, I got this book, uh, got it in charity shop. I think I paid 50p for it. And, um, they, uh, they're quite nice pages. They're fairly thick, these pages. And so when you add um the brown paper to it it then makes it quite a nice robust um it's got some nice images that i may or may not use um and uh, so and because this book it's a little bit vintage um has it got a date on it no i think that page has been ripped out jess but you know it is it is vintage it's got quite a nice color so it I thought, well, that'll be great for a tag, and then I'm not bothered about um, how it looks. Now, all my big bits are gone, so I just cut up the um, the bag. Um, I preferred this colour to that colour, but obviously this has got Primark written on it, so it would have to be this size. Um, and I just this side even and I just stuck them down you don't need to see me stick them down and then I got three tags out of out of each one so that's probably not the page but that's what I did so I just cut them up that way um, and they measure I mean it just depends on what size book but you know I'll tell you anyway because they're here I think they're too tall for what I want so they're like five and a quarter and they're, they're about two and three quarters wide. I think two of them are two and three quarters. And then the other one's just what was what was left. And it is two and three quarters is a good size for going in there. But as you can see, it's quite it's quite high. So gonna cut them down for the purposes of this. But quite liked having sort of mass made um, bases for doing something like this that's the thinner one there we are those two are the same so put them away for future use and um, I quite like this as a good size for going in here and I decided to make these four and three quarters so before we start we are cutting down to four and three quarters so Oh, a little bit, a little bit of scrap stuck in there from a previous time I used this. So there we go, four and three quarters. Cut that off. I keep that. Oh, and that doesn't look straight. Do that edge up there. Four and three quarters. That just needs taking off there. Not cut that well there. There 
you go. Right there. That's 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 me done. And then I just I've got oh I've got a chomper. I'm gonna use it. And uh, just for this small one, it's perfect. I could have done them both at the same time because this will chomp through multiple layers. Had these years, years and years and years. Spent far too much money on them. But there we go. And then I just rounded the bottom corner. So there we go. I think we can all make tags, can't we? So that, that was that. And then I wanted to just sort of ink the edges. So I just went around the edges. Just using the blending brush, which I discovered kind of worked. I couldn't find my dauber. So I thought, well, I've got ink on the brush and it kind of seeps down. So let's use that. It gives a little different bit of effect and I quite liked it. So that's that. So that's that done. And then I wanted to knock back the the words a bit, you know, the paper. And so I got a little bit of gesso. I've got my little, my little silicone brush. Don't need much gesso. That that will be enough. I've had this pot of gesso for, I bought, it in, I bought it in lockdown, 2020. So three years and not even halfway down it. And then I wanted to have the old, an old look. So I've got a bit of vintage photo here. And I just put one drop, just one drop. And um, mixed it up just to... Give a little bit of a different colour to it. Got a bit on me side of my silicone. There we go. And then just spread it over. Some people water down just so. This ain't. So it's a little bit thicker. Don't know why I'm doing it on my newly cleaned table. There's a belt. There we go. Now I can give it a good old spread about. So that just, you can still see the writing, which was what I wanted. But it now looks, it's, it's a plainer, it's a plainer background. I liked it. Ages since I went all mixed media, so I thought let's let's do some. These are those little pots you get from the Indian takeaway where they put the mango chutney and pickles. That hot pickle that oh, who eats that? And uh, the right are so I'll just wash them out and use them perfect for little jobs like this okay so that's that I'll just wash that out after and um, so this needs this needs to dry I might speed that process up right now and um, use my, my heat can and I'll just show you 
I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but the colour changes when it dries. That one decided to go all curly whirly. You can always flatten it under something, something hard. So there we go. So it's slightly pinky. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to leave that in there because I could do some stamping on it. So I wanted to sort of um, cover a bit of the background up with a wee bit of stamping. So I've got this script. It is. This is Stamping Up Very Versailles, which long retired, but it's lovely, but you know. And I just like script in the background, so just use what you got. So, just gonna be covering the edge, the, the middle a bit. So, a bit of this around there. Needs a bit more ink now. So we've got, I just like the idea of putting this on, even though it's got script, but not script, but it's got type written behind it. But I just, I just like the look of that. I think it's nice. Covers it quickly. And that bit's done. And then for a focal point, I just decided to use some shrunken down cabinet cards. Um, so that's what I'm going to go for today. I love these jolly gentlemen. So I think I might use them. And I think... I don't know, I was just thinking I might use the two women next to them as if they're their wives. Just a thought. Rip in so that I've got me fluffy edge that will that will then ink up nicely because it's a fluffy edge. and then shall I have them as their wives on the other side yeah let's do it Jess do that thing there we go so they're obviously at something grand they've got sashes and they've got little crowns love them these are not from a kit these are ones I've sourced and made for my own use. And that's ripped, I don't care. Yeah, we'll have them. So that's, that's, that's them sorted. And then I just wanted something in the background. Uh, so I'm going to look in my little scrap box and see, see what we've got. Um, so we've got this. I quite liked that. Oh, I've got a bit of that. These are nice. I ripped an Encyclopedia Botanica up and um, that's what I got Ooh, that's a little bit of that stamped on that's a good idea a little bit of that Ooh. a little bit of cheesecloth what are you doing in there you're 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 a glue mopper upper I'm not a scrap have I got some more cheesecloth because I do like 
the idea of a bit of cheesecloth. Now you might be sitting there, don't be fooled. If you remember my scrap box that was overflowing, um, I was babysitting the other day while doing a bit of childcare and um, I just grabbed a load and um, took them with me in a poly pocket and I just haven't put them back. So I haven't suddenly been doing lots and lots of scrap busting. Um, so no, I haven't. Right, that fit nicely behind. A little bit of rip ripping. Um, yeah, maybe. So what I'm going to do is what I did the other day. Not sure if you've seen the video yet or not, but I used an embossing folder and um, embossed this this tissue. It embossed really easy, and it was a really really nice effect. So I'm going to emboss this. <sighs> That's done. So. So there it is. And I just, oh, look, I thought that would just peel apart. It's like it's welded it together. Oh, I have managed to pull it apart. And it's lovely if you do a little bit of inking on it, it shows up. But I'm going to wait until it's stuck down because um, I learned from the last time I used it that um, when I when I stuck it down, um, when I did it without sticking it down, it was a bit fragile. So um, much better if you stick it down and then ink over it. So yeah, quite like the look of that. Well, do that again. This one it needs to go in my scrap. pretty yeah like that so let's get these stucky down um, so I'm going to stick these bits down so that they can then be inked so I'm sure this tissue is like um, Pattern, pattern paper so I'm sure you could probably do the same effect if you've got like old sewing patterns they might be slightly thicker than a sewing pattern but I just like experimenting and I just think embossing folders give you that lovely sort of added texture so I like I'll rub it down a little bit better in a sec. There we go. Do the other side. The other side, just the other one, Jess thinking of the other side in that because it's going to be in a journal page and there will be one of one part of the signature and one in another part of the signature and I like it because it's tissue you can still see the stamping underneath 
So now if we go over now, we're now picking up all that lovely embossing that was on that tissue. And that's not that's not on their straight, but does it matter? Not in the least. Studying texture. There we go. So now we can see that's so just one brick. So you've got bits of brick there and bits of where plaster on the book has crumbled. Love it. So I'll stick this down. So this is coffee dyed. It's either vellum or tracing paper. Might be tracing paper. Might be vellum. I really don't know. Kind of the vellum's usually a bit thicker than tracing paper. Tracing paper's very thin. Well the stuff I bought was. I think you probably buy in different thicknesses. <clears throat> Cheaper than vellum. along there get those edges inked there we go and then we can stick on stick on our people I think I originally did it the other way around I don't think it matters but it doesn't matter does it my creation. It is what it is. So recycled a bit of rubbish to create this tag apart from the tracing paper vellum whichever it is Everything was from a charity shop and then just added a photo image that I downloaded free off Tinterweb and printed. Very cool. Shall we get them straight, Jess? Although they look like they're celebrating. They probably had a tipple or two. Six. They certainly look like they've had a tipple or two or six. <laughs> right, and then just added some words. So I've got some words that I made myself. So helps you to open it, Jess. So I've got some there that I'd previously cut out of. What shall we have? Right, they might be dream. Live in the dream. Um, I've got remember. Those were ones for Halloween and stuff. Yeah, we'll take those. I'm just wondering if that other colour wouldn't be better. Mm, maybe, maybe it would. Right, long scissors. I don't know where me. Timmy scissors are. When I made these, I left the outline of the table I put them in. I'm thinking I might do them again without the outline. And then I don't have to worry about that line. I did it kind of to make cutting out easier. But It's just flown everywhere with that little gust of wind I just produced. Um, but I do time to I'm gonna rip. Um, I then try and cut it out. So I've got that dream. Uh, 
that's a happy moment. You can have a moment. Or am I better? Am I better with it darker? Actually, now, I'm, now I've gone to all that trouble of cutting that lighter one up. I prefer, I prefer the darker. Yeah, it stands out a bit better. There we go. They'll go back in the box at the end. Yeah, liking them. Do I want to take that black edge off? I think I do. I haven't really got it on this one. Dream, dream, dream when I'm... No, stop singing, Jess. Do not subject us to that. So... There we go. Just took that black edge off, which is why I'm thinking I'll print them without in future. There we go. And I like to have some in for it to sit on. I don't like my words to just float. Um, I've got this little bit of, oh, look at that. We got some, did I not find a second piece? I'm sure I did and I'm sure it's been scrunched here somewhere and gone forever. Oh, the two there, you burk. So, stick it on a little bit cheesecloth yeah that's what we like that's what we like Jess so I'm going to stick this little bit of cheesecloth down with a bit of glue stick because it does stick down quite well on glue stick Keeping very much to neutral colours. And that way it can pop in to any sort of journal, really. Put one over there. That's cool. And then we're going to stick stick this down and that will that will hold it down. like it needs sticking down it does jazz well spotted The last thing is the top of the tag. So I took, why 
is it going to come in now? It's the heat gun wire. Get out of it. So I'm going to pop the hole in there. Pop the hole in there. There we go. And then I've got these hole reinforcers. And they've just been gone over in the brush colour them and we'll pop one over that hole might get a slightly lighter one for the back a little bit of gesso come through on the back I like that so there we go very quick, cheap, easy way. Uh, I even think I've got these whole reinforcers in the charity shop. I could put an eyelet in them if I wanted to, but I don't think I do. I don't think I do. And then I just want a bit of Where's my little twine? There it is. A little bit of twine for the top. I do struggle to find the end. It's in there somewhere. That wasn't the end, Jez. So often what I do is I just take a bit like that. That'll do. That'll do. Bring back. And then we just want it grunged up. So I'm using the same ink for all of this so that it's all toning really nicely. And then I'll just cut that. There we go. I'll put that through there. And that's that. Give it a sometimes I do multiple layers of these just putting the one in sometimes I do put others so that it looks a little bit like a luggage tag and with the colour of the back of this very much so it looks a bit like a luggage tag I've got such achy disgusting fingers now <laughs> And that is my tags. Done. Let's bring in one of these. So stick it in there. Stick them in there. That's how, that's how it looks. So that was that. That is what I made. There's me original. There's me original. See my original tags. Uh, just used different stamps on that. Did it in exactly the same way. So hope, hope you've liked those two quick little videos and I um, hope that's given you some ideas. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe um, if you haven't already and you like what I make. Okay, don't forget to drop me a comment 
and um, let me know what you think. Okay, bye for now.